Okay, we're gonna ask now uh, some controversial questions. What do you think of fat people? And the, and the whole uh, phenomenon of uh, massive uh, obesity, which was, you didn't even see this 20 years ago at the level it is now. So what are your, th what are your thoughts on uh, fat people, fatness? Jimmy wanted to start this off. I like fat people. I think they're great. Uh, I got a lot of reasons, but uh, they're easy on the hands. I mean, they're like fists, like <laughs> six cent. Uh, and when you're beating them with sticks, they experience more pain because the fat propagates nerve endings. And I remember that from when I had a big gut. It hurt like hell getting hit in the gut. You know, so there's two reasons why I wish I was the only person on earth that wasn't morbidly obese. But you know, there's other reasons, I guess. Mm -hmm. and, uh, well, uh, fat people. Uh, I forgot where we left off last night, but I don't mind fat people. Um, I don't. I don't care if somebody fat or not. Really, just don't ask me what to do to be skinny. And then don't take my advice. Mm. Um, don't ask me what to do to be healthy. And then go over your fat friend's house. And have them give you a bottle of pills. And then come to me and say. Oh I just went to Selena's house. And visited with Selena. And she told me that this is the pills to take. You can't. Get skinny from a bottle. You have to stop fucking eating. Uh, you just have to stop eating. Stop eating and uh, don't count your calories. Count your carbohydrates. Hmm. Man, obviously exercise. Like right? work, do some kind of workout. Yeah, absolutely. The hard, the harder you work uh, physically, and you count, you cannot count your job as part of your physical, as part of your workout. But the harder you work out, whether it be a stair climber, um, a hit routine, um, or just a normal weight routine, the harder you make this uh, workout combined with restricted carbohydrates, elevated fat intake, and moderate protein, the harder your workouts, the faster the results. And stop eating, intermittent fasting. Okay, real quick in, uh, about the fasting. Just lay it out real quick, like fa fasting in terms of not even what it is so much. We all know it's not eating, but like, what? How do you fast? In a nutshell, eighteen hours at least. Um, you're you're sleeping eight hours. That's counted as fasting. Mm. So you sleep for eight hours, and then you wake up. And you don't eat anything for eight hours. So, if you go to bed at six, let's say you sleep 12 hours, just for the sake of simplicity. Six to six is 12 hours. You wake up, you have coffee that will not break your fast. Put butter, ghee, or cream, heavy whipping cream, in your coffee only. Mm, the cream, eh, I'm going to say that this stuff won't break your fast. Just drink coffee or water and salt until 1 or 2 o'clock. And then your first meal after a fast or the first meal that day should be lean protein. And then uh, a salad, 7 to 9 cups of a salad. And Mr. Malafon, uh you have modified this somewhat. Uh, I know fasting worked for you amongst other things. Um, and it, like, what's a regular routine day for you when you're not, you know, socializing and jet setting with all the people, right? Uh, and they want to throw food in your face, you know, and, and whatnot. But what do you usually do if there's if you weren't around anybody else? If you're traveling, or you know, you you're not uh, hobnobbing with the, uh, the the rich and famous. What do you do usually on a date like that when you're just by yourself? Oh, I'll drink coffee in the morning and uh, with some butter and 
It's almost impossible to find real heavy whipping cream. The only place I've found it is in Missouri. Um, and then I'll, I'll have a couple of strawberries or a piece of cheese or something at between 2 and 4 in the afternoon. Then I'll eat a meal around 6. And that's it. It's less effort to eat than when I, than, uh, you know, than when I was actually uh, an eater. Okay. Yeah. But I got it. Uh, I, I gotta say, I don't want anybody else to do that. And, the only, I just barely escaped Baltimore again. The only reason why I'm still alive is because of Roe versus Wade and because of oh. obesity. I mean, that's like it. I couldn't, how am I supposed to escape from these like people with third and a quarter of my age if they're not waddling? And now so, I've, got, I've got my own ambulatory issues. So once again, LaFond is going against the, the grain of the supposedly dissident grain. He is for Roe v. Wade, and he's for increased obesity amongst other people. I'm, I'm, in, I'm for everybody on the planet, but me being morbidly obese, and I am a staunch abortion advocate. Oh, okay. I just lost is great. You just lost me subscribers. <laughs> uh, oh, the master of losing. <laughs> and, and, and when it comes to women, I do like giant jelly asses. I don't have any. Nah, man. I, nah, I've seen you. I've seen even you draw the line. Like at uh, this rainbow hair barmaid last night. Jesus yeah, Christ! Yeah, yeah, yeah gotta draw the line. Too much. That. Like the Chinese say, too much, too much. All right, all right. So this was actually this was not a hate a hate fest against the the you know the carbohydrate casualties. Oh, very. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, oh, I think everybody should be skinny. Yeah. yeah well, and as far as abortion, uh -oh. if you don't like the laws. Uh, of the state you're in, move to another state. Yeah. That's what America is. Oh, that's boy. what America is. Oh, wow. Curry hangers only cost, like, you can get a brass curry oh, hanger. God. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, my God. It's for, for, like, a buck. Right? Yeah, but you can also go to the next state over to uh, get one. You know, get remember what Chappelle said. If you're, if, you, uh, if you're allowed to kill him, I should be allowed to abandon him. <laughs> All right. <laughs> the, I, I don't, I actually, my own beliefs are nothing like what these men have said, so... Oh. Actually, no, well, they actually, some of them are, but I'll never tell you. So, all right, that was good. That was very, very, uh, I think, very fair and, and nuanced. So, all right, we're going to go into another controversial topic. Oh, boy, here we go.